So here it is, one of the best interventions for osteoarthritis of the knee that so many physiotherapists will be able to put into their practice immediately. But be careful, it is controversial. Hey guys, Khalid here, welcome back to Clinical Physio. So if you are over the age of 60, you have a 10% chance of having symptomatic osteoarthritis of the knee if you are male, and 13% chance if you're female. It's one of the most common conditions that physiotherapists see for our older populations, and it costs hundreds of thousands of pounds in the UK every year. But new research is out that shows that one of the most simple but most effective interventions for these patients can really have a difference on symptoms, and we need to be telling patients about this all the time. And that is weight loss. So how important is weight loss and how much of an effect can it have? Well, here's the research. Salis et al. from 2022 completed a huge study involving over 9,000 patients and they tracked them over a four to five year period. They linked their BMI, their body mass index, to x-rays and the symptoms that these patients had on their x-rays over that period of time. So the main headline, they found that a one unit reduction in BMI was associated with a 4.76% reduction in the likelihood of having and the progression of structural defects for osteoarthritis of the knee. This is huge. It could highlight potentially that if you reduce your BMI from let's say 30 to let's say 25, there could be almost a 25% reduction in the severity of your osteoarthritis. More interesting stuff. The researchers found that the average baseline BMI for the patients within the study was 28.2, which is considered to be overweight, and 33% of the patients within the study had a BMI over 30, which is considered to mean obese. It therefore clearly shows that the average patient with OA of the knee is overweight, and also there's a clear relationship that the more weight we have, the more likely we are to have symptomatic OA. So the clear indication here, losing weight can have a positive effect on osteoarthritis. One of the things we come in to challenge with all the time as physiotherapists is that patients who have lots of pain at their knee find it difficult to lose weight through exercise. They either have to focus on eating less or we have to work really hard on optimizing their pain levels by perhaps looking at medication in order to help them do so. But hey, the timing of this message is super important. Of course, we can highlight to our patient who has symptomatic OA that losing weight is beneficial for them. But also, imagine being able to tell your 20, 30, 40, or even 50 year old patient about this research, highlighting to them that if they can try and lose weight now, it can significantly reduce their chances of having osteoarthritis of the knee in the future, let alone all the other health benefits that comes with being optimal in our weight. And I've spent time with orthopedic surgeons who were telling these things to their patients. They might have had an ACL reconstruction, but the surgeon is telling them to lose weight for the future. They might have had a meniscal repair, but the surgeon is telling them to lose weight for the future. And of course, that role and responsibility is massive for physiotherapists as well. We can educate our patients earlier and really help them in the future. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, at Clinical Physio, and our website with loads of great resources, clinicalphysio.com. I'm Khalid, see you soon here on Clinical Physio.